Hello, it's Rachel here with the Shades of Orange. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick wrap up for the Books in the Freezer readathon. I originally talked about doing a vlog and honestly I did try to film one, but it was just a crazy week. We had company over all the time and I just felt too self-conscious to bring out my camera. Pretty much everyone knows that I do these booktube videos, but actually recording in front of people just made me kind of anxious and so I didn't get a lot of footage. So I decided to do just a normal wrap up, but I did get a lot of interest in people wanting to see a vlog. So I think on some snowy weekend, maybe when another readathon is going on, I'll do like a proper vlog and kind of show you my snacks and where I read in my house and all that. So I'm definitely open to trying it out. It just did not work out. That being said, let's talk about the actual books. I always like to start readathons by reading the shortest book on my TBR. So I read The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Lavalley, which is a novella by Tor.com. And it's a retelling of an HP Lovecraft story. And I thought it was well written. I thought it addressed a lot of important things about race, especially in America. But I didn't connect with the story, maybe because I'm not American myself, but for whatever reason, I don't have a lot of opinions about it. I can't really tell you much about the plot even though I read it. So it's still very well received. I can see that other people would like it because like I said, it's very well written, but didn't really have much of an opinion on it. So let's move on. After that, I finished reading Mind of Winter by Laura Kashiki. I think I'm saying that name wrong, but I'm doing my best. I actually read this on audio, which is a great way to get books done during readathons because I actually don't have tons of time these days to just sit down and read. But whenever I'm doing laundry, dishes, cooking, I always have an audiobook in. So I knew I'd get through this one. And the narration was fantastic. This book is about a woman who adopted a daughter from Siberia. When I said this in my TBR, everyone thought I said suburbia. I might have actually said that. But she adopted her child from Russia. And now 13 years later on Christmas, she is worried that something followed them home from Russia. And the entire story is in the head of this woman. It's creepy. It's very slow paced. I'll be honest, I did think the middle dragged a little bit. I wasn't really sure how I was feeling about it, but the ending definitely packed a punch. It was dark and disturbing, but not in the way I would expect from a horror book. So kind of go into that with reserved expectations. Like it's very quiet compared to a lot of the horror I read, but I really liked where it went. So that's one that I would definitely recommend. I do think it'll appeal most to a female audience just because it deals a lot with fertility and motherhood, but I loved it. So definitely enjoyed that one quite a bit. And then I wanted to tackle the short story challenge. So I ended up reading Hark the Herald Angel Scream by Christopher Golden. I actually requested an e-copy from NetGalley because I thought the cover looked so fun. And it was a fun collection. It's all centered around Christmas themed horror, which is something I really enjoy. And there was a good variety in the collection. I did find a lot of the stories very forgettable, but I did fly through it. And there was a few stories that I did connect with. There was a few that involved like home invasions and kidnappings, which are always things I enjoy. So I liked a few of the stories in the collection. Can't overly recommend the collection as a whole, but it was perfect for the readathon because I read it incredibly fast. You just fly through the stories. They're very readable and was a relatively short collection to get through. And the last book I read for the readathon was Let the Right One In by John Levito Lindquist. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm sorry, Stephanie. You always have to say it on the podcast. But this is about a young boy who is bullied at school and then meets Ellie, who appears to be a young girl, but you realize that she's actually a vampire. This is a really unique story. I feel like a lot of people have read it. It's definitely very beloved. And my favorite parts about it were definitely just seeing the story from Oscar's perspective. I felt so badly for him when I saw him getting bullied and just sympathized with him so much. It's very dark in places. I've heard people say, oh, well, that story's not horror, but I would definitely say, no, it is. It's disturbing. And a lot of the most disturbing scenes were actually humans doing horrible things to humans because the bullying in this story was terrible. So I 
did like it, I do recommend it, and I can see why it's so loved. So I'm glad I finally checked it out because that story has been on my collection of books I wanted to read for years. It's one of the books that has been on my Goodreads TBR for the longest, so I'm glad I finally got to it this fall. So that's actually all I read during the readathon, which is quite slow for me. I was hoping to read five books, but life happened and it didn't work out that way, but I did realize that the last book, Let the Right One In, filled two challenges because of course Stephanie has talked about it on the podcast and I realized that it has movie adaptations. So that was the challenge that I didn't get to. I didn't end up reading Sleepy Hollow. I tried to start the book I got from the library but I realized that the writing is very classic and old timey and I just was not in the mood to actually use my brain so I skipped that one. So I read four books. I did complete all the challenges because we never said that you had to read five books for the readathon and I'm gonna consider this a win. I had a lot of fun and I really hope that we do this as a yearly event. So if you completed the readathon or attempted it, I'd love to see your wrap up videos or vlogs down below. Feel free to share them with a link and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye-bye.